Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Earth Apollo on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. I am envisioning being in the kitchen. So that doesn't happen very often. I came across a recipe that I cannot wait to try. And it's a simple recipe. It's a vegetable soup recipe. I found it in an article. And what makes this vegetable soup recipe very appealing to me is that it takes simple ingredients and mixes them up. And that's the vegetable soup, right? But it's the process. Um, this recipe starts off that you chop up all the vegetables and then you like stir fry them first in a little bit of olive oil or something like that until they're soft. Then you add your broth, vegetable stock or chicken broth. And then you take that as it simmers for a few minutes, maybe uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And then you blend it. You blend it until it's smooth. This is such a different approach to me. I mean, it goes along with mindful eating, of course. At least that's in my mind's eye. But what really captured my attention as far as on the mindfulness scale is that it is using something that is very common and it transitions these vegetables into something that is totally, totally different. I don't know how this would taste. I'll let you know because I'm, I am going to prepare this like this, this week and maybe, you know, I'll let you know, but maybe you try it and see what is the difference between a regular chicken soup that maybe we're all familiar with, not chicken soup, sorry, vegetable soup that we're all familiar with. And then this recipe where you cook the vegetables and then blend the vegetables and serve it in a simmering smooth uh, soup. Welcome to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. What does recipes have to do with Transition Awareness Breathing? So happy that you're joining me to find out. But before we go any farther, I would like to thank Web Talk Radio for allowing me to have a platform to bring Transition Awareness Breathing to you. Also, thank you to my producers, Mary Lou and Sam, for making Transition Awareness Breathing podcast available to you wherever you go. Now, let's get cooking. I would like for us to be open and invite the thought that we can use simple techniques and transform our way of doing things into something totally new from learning about this simple vegetable recipe technique. Let me go on so I can explain where I'm going with this thought. So in this, this, this session together, I would like our focus to be, yes, on the, the, uh, the using a simple technique, but more on the transition part of doing something different. The transition part is we are using a, a recipe for an example 
and a simple uh, uh, vegetable soup to help explain this. When we're transforming, we're taking what we usually have and transforming it into something totally new. And uh, nothing really exciting or new was added to this recipe. They use vegetables, whatever vegetables you want. They use um, vegetable stock or chicken chicken stock, whatever one you you like. So those are nothing new. Um, but what is different is the process of putting these items together. That To me, that spells transformation. The breaking down, the chopping up of the vegetables, and then heating those vegetables in oil releases the flavor after those vegetables are heated in oil they're blended to and transformed and transitioned into a different texture and the flavors are melded together i could just smell the soup but let me not get too excited speaking about how we deal with issues, excitement, anxieties, stressors in our lives. Part of life is, you know, stressors are not going to go away. They're the simple elements of of life. Uh, and the good thing about stressors is it keeps us learning, it keeps us awake, it keeps us aware of our environment. How we deal with the these stressors is what makes the difference. As we go from different stages of our lives, we transform. There's different situations, it seems, that is presented to us and it's chopping us up. It's, it's, it's shaking us out of our comfortable zone. And then just when we think we are accustomed to that way of doing things, something heats us up. A, a, another uh, situation, another stressor, it adds um, heat to our environment, to our emotions, to our family. And it's how we handle that process, how we perceive. You could perceive the process in a negative way. Oh, this is another thing that's happening. This is so stressful. And we can cling on to sadness and just wallow in that. And then, you know, we can get historical about it. You know, this is the way this has happened all of my life. Or we can perceive this, this heat, this, the, the, the oil that was placed in the situation that we're in. We can perceive this as a positive element that is occurring in our life that this is added to the situation to help maybe bring forth a sensitivity bring forth compassion bring forth humility bring forth sensitivity and maybe we may not be ready for that but something is getting us ready for it and it's beyond our control because we are transitioning into a new platform in our life this and it and it's just when we're accustomed to the heat where we have got this down pack and then we're thrown into 
a blender and things are just churning and mixed up. And again, it's our perception on how we're handling the situation, the anxiety, the excitement. We can perceive this as, I, I just can't take it anymore. I've had it. One more thing. This is the last straw. The camel is broken. Any kind of, um, you know, thing, phrase, whatever, that you might want to attach to whatever is negative that, that you want to attach to this. Or, or we can perceive this more positively. And it doesn't mean that we are avoiding or trying to hide or you know, trying to deny what's going on. Absolutely. We, it's important in our, the awareness part of when we're practicing mindfulness. It is absolutely important to be aware of our situations and how we're responding to the situation. But is how we is how we perceive it, and I I ask you to be open and invite you to not only perceive it if you're if you are gravitating towards a negative perspective of being you know thrown into that blender situation. I invite you and ask you to reach out and pull the, your, from your inner strength just to turn, just to turn your, your, your inner eye and look with a different perspective in a positive format that what you're going through, whether it's anxiety, whether it's super excitement, whether it is sadness, that this process is transforming is transitioning you is transitioning me to be more more compassionate more humble more sincere when we are sauteed by the oils and the blenders of life we should not be the same as we were five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, we should be smooth and aware and open to learn because we are never too old to learn. If the forethought in your mind captures a a thought and you're, you find yourself saying, been here, done that, I encourage you to revisit and be aware that every day is a new day. There's no reruns. It's a new day. It's how you're perceiving it. What What are you missing? What are you, what, what process have you skipped? Because something is new. There's an element in your recipe that hasn't been added. And so each time, each day is new. The anchor in getting through the transition part of this process is the breath. Just as in the recipe, one thing that I noticed was, number one, the vegetables in this vegetable soup recipe were chopped very, very fine. They were chopped, you know, small. Another thing is that the, the uh, vegetables were always moving, in e- either in uh, heat, when it was you know, fried with the oil or in the blender. It was always moving. With us, the transition into one level to another level, we should always be moving. Let 
let the anchor be the breath. And when you're breathing through these, these times of transitioning, let the exhale, blowing it out, let it be released. Blow out any negativity. Blow out any stress, any tightness. Blow it out. Breathe in and let the exhale breath be longer than the inhale breath. And just know that what you're doing and what you're going through is you are transforming. That this is taking you to a new level that you have not been through before. That could be kind of scary. And that in itself can cause some anxiety. We like to be comfortable. We like things our own way. It keeps us secure. Being that secure, are we really allowing ourselves to grow? Are we allowing ourselves to transition into the the person, the better person that we are destined to be? Or are we allowing ourselves to get stagnant and keeping ourselves in a comfortable box, in a comfortable environment, taking that breath as the anchor and that, that part keeps us moving. It's just, you know, it's like holding on to a hand, the breath, breathing in and blowing out. It's a security. Now, what if, you know, another, another example, if you're driving along a bumpy road, we all wear our seat belts, supposedly, right? We should all wear our seat belts. But just envision that you're on a bumpy, bumpy road, someplace in the mountain someplace, you know, and you're in a four wheel Jeep and you're bouncing all over the place. You have, you, you have a security that number one, you're in that Jeep. Number two, that you have something that's helping you to stay in your seat and not getting flown out of the vehicle. That seat belt is the breath. No matter how bumpy the road becomes, and you are thrilled. This may be fun for a lot of people. You got that seatbelt on, and you feel secure. Being secure with the thought of the breath. That is the transforming part of the transition. Because you're not allowing the body to become tight and anxious. Everything is open. And so when we're open and relaxed, new ideas come, we're learning, and then we are learning something that maybe no one else has thought about to help better the world, better yourself. So as I conclude and bring our session today at a close, I invite you and encourage you to keep your breath as the anchor as you transition into a new platform in your day, in your life, around the people you're with, and try that recipe and see what the difference is. I'm going to try it. I've never tried it before. So, uh, you know, I, I know I'm going to add a little bit of spices to it that maybe it's not in that simple recipe. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try it. Thank you so much for joining me today in Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. Have a great day. Be sure and pick up a copy of Eartha's new book, Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. 
It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab Mindfulness, awareness and coloring activities in a pandemic world. It's available now at Amazon.com. 